Hey guys, listen, I uh, wanted to put this video together because uh, as I was in prayer, you know, God was just really impressing uh, upon my heart uh, as to how people are feeling today, what, what's happening with, and I'm not talking about it, everybody, but there's some people that sometimes, you know, when you're involved in church and you're part of a church and especially experiencing what we're experiencing right now in this pandemic, you know, people can begin, begin to feel distance and separated and, and, and the devil's a liar. The devil is a liar. Listen, we want to let you guys know, this is why I'm sending you this message. That me and my wife personally, we pray for you guys on the daily. We think about you guys. We talk about you guys as we sit down in, in the mornings or in the afternoons that we're thinking about you guys and where's, where's sister so-and-so, where's brother so-and-so. And man, we haven't seen this family in such a long time. And, and these are the conversations that we're having and, and as we're thinking about you guys. And of course, there's only so much that we can do as far as trying to reach out on social media, uh, through text. I'm pretty sure most of you guys get uh, my texts. And if you don't, please let me know. Get my number, uh, you know, uh, send me uh, a message and, and, and I'll make sure that we include you in our texts that I send out on the weekly. So, you know, when you think about that, you have a church that loves you and cares about you. You have a church that is, that is thinking about you on, on the daily consistently. You know, this is this is why I'm, I'm sending you this video to you personally this video because we love you and we care about you and we want to see you succeed and so you know what the devil will do is as you separate and, and as people are, are separating and, and you know the, the social distancing they're talking about and, and the separation the touchless society well what begins to happen in that if we're not careful we begin to feel neglected we begin to feel rejected and these are things that the devil himself begins to put into our minds. And, and this is how people begin to feel. And, and, and I'm not saying everybody feels like that, but some people do. And it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon. And maybe you're listening to this message and maybe you find yourself in this place, in this position in your mind. And you feel like people have forgotten about you. I want to let you know, listen, we have not forgotten about you guys. We think about each and every one of you guys and, and we love you guys. Not only that, but we miss you guys. We miss the fellowship. You know, the beautiful thing that we're seeing here in our church is we're seeing the church come back. We're seeing people, man, you know, they're coming back. And they're practicing the social distancing. They're wearing their masks and they choose to wear their mask and, you know, all those things. But the church is coming back. And we, we want to invite you. We want to encourage you. If, if you're not ready, hey, we totally understand. But this message is for you, for all of you, to let you know that on behalf of me and my wife, we love you guys, we miss you guys, and we are praying for you guys. I want to share uh, something here with you. You know, there's this, uh, as, as, as people become isolated, what begins to happen to them is they begin to, to feel uh, a certain kind of way. They, like they say today, the kids say they're all up in their feelings, right? So we got to be careful with that because what happens is that, you know, one bad thing can, can, can overtake the, 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 can over, one, one bad thing that happens in our lives can overshadow all the good things that are really happening. You know, about a week ago, I was going through some stuff personally myself, and there was a, a couple of bad things that happened. And, and, and as I began to, uh, to really look at those things, they began to overshadow all the good things that were happening in my life. And as I was just concentrated on those two things that had happened, you know, I really begin to feel bad. And man, I, I really got into my emotions, like they say. And there I was, man. I was moping and I was going through all these emotions and just feeling bad and thinking that nothing good was going on and that my life was all messed up and that all these things, you're just the worst. Then all of a sudden, it's like the Lord just quickened me. And, you know, like he just said, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. And, and, and then all of a sudden, it's like God began to show me the good things that have happened. And here in two days, in two days, man, all these things overshadowed all the, the good things that had happened. And God began to show me, look at what I did here. And look at what I did there. And look at how I moved here. And look at how I moved there. Then all of a sudden, as I began to reflect, I started seeing all the good things that God had done. And, I, and, as, and as I started really reflecting on those things, it far outweighed these two little bitty things that had gone wrong. These two little bitty things that had gone wrong far overweighted and man I had forgotten of all the good blessings and how good God was and all the good things that God was doing in my life 
And as I began to do that, man, I began to feel encouraged. Not only did I begin to feel encouraged, I began to celebrate. I began to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the midst of all of this, in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this isolation, in the midst of all that's going wrong, there is so much good going on. Come on now. This is what I want to encourage you to do right now if you have a chance. Take a few moments. Just take two minutes. Two minutes. And start thinking as to how really blessed you really are. How many good things have happened to you in the last week? Begin to count them. Begin to mount them up and begin to look. Wait a minute. God did move right here. Wait a minute. God did answer this prayer. Wait a minute. God did bless me right here. And as you begin to do that, you're going to begin to see how truly blessed you are. Listen, church. We are blessed in the midst of all of this that's going on. God has been so good to us. God has blessed us in abundance. And I am grateful to my Lord and to my Savior. I am so thankful to the Lord for what He's doing in my life, what He's doing in our church, what He's doing in your life. I know God has blessed you in abundance. And I want to encourage you, my brother and my sister today, to take a few moments and reflect on the goodness of God. And I want you to take a few moments and no one realize that right here at Urban Faith City Church, we love you. We're praying for you, we miss you, and we can't wait to see you. We can't wait for the day that you walk in through the doors of Urban Faith City Church and we're able to give you a hug and we're able to rejoice and pray with you. Listen, so just remember that we're thinking about you on behalf of me and my wife. We love you guys. I pray you have a blessed day. I pray we see you here soon in the house of God. And if, if you don't happen to come soon enough right now, we're going to be watching you and we're going to be seeing you online. Thank you guys. God bless you. And I hope you have a great, great day.